<laughs> when's the last time you actually spoke to your son? Uh, I was with him at his birthday party at Tehoun in Manhattan. I think it was June 27th. June 27th of last correct. year. That is 100% correct. Wow. Well, just being at a party is not necessarily having a relationship. Were you invited to the party? Yeah, no, everybody oh. was invited. You didn't crash. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, do you talk to your son on a regular basis? Do you um, hang well, out? Yeah, prior, they, they don't talk. Prior to, all this, prior to all this, yes. Right. But since this has happened, no. Since you asked for the money or since the uh, website and all that? Uh, since the website. Right. Mm. Yeah, I think you, 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 you pushed it. You blew them. it. You blew it. You blew it. Hey, uh, you know what you ought to do? Why don't you get a? Why don't you get? A, you seem like an interesting guy. Get a reality show of your own. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, really, I really have no comment on that. Uh, I'll tell I, you what you should do then. What should I do? Bang Snooky. <laughs> get on the show. Now you'll be on the show. Stop banging him. Yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, I, I, I don't think that's gonna happen. You a good-looking guy? Uh, I would, I would have to say, you know. Fair, you know, that's, yeah. you know, something else. Or you could box Snooky. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Are you fighting uh, Lindsay Lohan's father? Is that uh, going on as well? Well, you know, that uh, that was, again, happening in the tabloids. Uh, they were saying he said this, he said that. I met Mike Lohan. He's a, he's a really nice guy. I happen to like him a great deal. Right. I, I met him the other night at his celebrity match where he was unable to because... Uh, I do believe he just came out of the hospital with some uh, with with the procedure, and uh, I met him. Hell of a nice guy. We were talking for a few hours, him and I, and uh, I just happened to think he's a nice guy. You know, you will not buy really it. Can't... Well, I, I got to be honest with you. I really don't see a need to box him or anything like that because uh, you know he he told me frankly. He said I never said anything like that. People say stuff, and I and I know they do because. With all the tabloid rags out there, I've I've never said anything to any one of them, but I could pick it up on any any given day. Hmm. So, are you trying to be another one of these celebrity dads? Absolutely not. He's not. He says he's not. Absolutely not. <laughs> but you did have the video. You're talking to Michael Lohan. You're thinking about boxing. I think I think he's becoming well, no, a celebrity dad. Because, now wait a minute. Because I spoke to Michael Lohan, that makes me want to uh, put myself out there. Well, it That's sounds what, like, I mean, you, you, how do you wind up talking to Michael Lohan? You're looking into certain circles. Thinking, no, no, you're absolutely wrong. I yeah. met him at a venue. I what? met him there. Okay, I was invited to go there to referee because someone thinks that maybe because my son has achieved some type of stature that basically maybe I'm, I'm out there. I'd watch the fight. His daughter has achieved a lot of stature as, as a young actress, okay, and has done a lot of has done a lot of things, and so he's her dad. I happen to be someone else's dad. I like to he see. So you're being a celebrity dad. You're you're using your relationship with your son to make money. No, no I, I. Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't make any money. How about that? <laughs> well, you're you're bad at it. You should bang Lindsay yeah. Lohan. <laughs> well, I guess I, I guess I am bad at it. <laughs> Would you box Chaz Bono? Okay, I don't do well. Would you ever consider boxing Chaz Bono <laughs> now that she's a man? Oh, jeez. Come on, Howard. I mean, I don't, I, that's not fair. Not fair? All right. Fair yeah. enough. What is it, Gary? I was just saying, if he's not trying to be famous, then why is he calling this show? We called him. No, he called I us to me. Oh, he called us. Gary, hey, Gary, maybe you're not paying attention. I said this already. I didn't call you. You called me. Is that true, Gary? Gary doesn't even know. <laughs> we don't know. Hold on, hold on. A publicist called us and said he's available, so you called us. No. Oh. No, no, bro, listen. Listen, again, as I said to you before, you're not paying attention. I didn't call you. You called me. Now, someone may have called you, okay? I, I know certainly I did not. Uh, uh, okay? we, we physically made the call to you, but you have a publicist of some sort who goes around contacting shows asking, would we like to have you on as a guest? So that's you contacting us. Yeah, we returned the well, call. Well, he shouldn't do that. He shouldn't do that, that guy. <laughs> Why do you have a publicist? <laughs> I don't have a publicist. What do you think about that? So, Gary, who is the guy who called you? Who's the guy with his number? Who is it? 
Frank, you got to get this. Who's going to come in? He says it's an ex porn star that contacted us. <laughs> yeah, an ex porn star contacted us for you. I don't. I don't know. I don't know any porn. The stars. plot thickens. Well, hold on, Frank. Yeah, We're going to find out for you. Uh, Will, who called us to get Frank on the air? It's a woman named Gina. She's a great publicist. She gives us lots of good guests. And then yesterday, when I did the pre-interview, he had a manager with him as well, who was telling him, you know, no, what no, he should no, be promoting. No. No, what I had yesterday, I was at my friend Peter's house. Okay, we were all sitting down. As far as this broad from wherever she's from, right? I don't know. Well, okay. you should thank her. She got you on the show. Yeah, I mean, you well, know. Listen, I may have, I may have to send her a complimentary email and say, hey, thanks a lot. The other thing is, like, he's a completely different guy than I talked to yesterday. Yeah. Was yesterday was like, fuck Mike, I hate that guy's an asshole, you know, whatever. And now he's all uh, apologetic no, for how he's... I got to be honest with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the truth. You're full of shit. Okay? <laughs> wow. Full of shit. Will's full of shit. No, I said, I said, why are you angry oh, at Mike? And you had, like, a list of reasons. And then today it's like, you know what? I was wrong. Hey, maybe he saw maybe he saw God. Uh, yeah. Last night, something happened. What happened last night between yeah. now and last night? <laughs> Nothing happened last night as far as I'm... I, I spoke to you. I spoke to one of the gentlemen from your show yesterday. Right. We were talking about some certain things. I said... Okay, that the stories on on the website were true. I said I was wrong, and that's exactly what I said. For you to say it any other way, okay, or for me, or for someone to say I said this, I said that, that's bullshit. I didn't say it, and if I said it, I would admit it. And if I didn't, I'm not going to say I did say it. Hey Frank, so you think really you could ever get? Line. You think you could ever get back with your son, or is the damage so bad? Because those I saw the videos; they were pretty fucking bad. I said if that was my dad, I'd never talk to him again. Do you think? Well, he you know what. If, 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 in fact, I'm not able to, well, then that's my punishment, and I'll have to stand up to it. Right. If, if that's it. I, you know, I made a mistake. And if, the mis and if you know, so to say, the penance is uh, that I'm not able to speak with him, well, then that's what it is. Uh, there's right. nothing I can do. I, I can't take what is said back. I could only, you know, I could only go forward not doing anything like that ever again. Well, I like to hear that. You can't argue with that, Rob. I don't know what to make of all this. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. I thought we were going to get a belligerent guy on the phone. He's saying, hey, I made a mistake. I shouldn't and, have talked and, to my son like that. And why he's calling us today, I don't know. <laughs> well, we... Oh, that's right. They called us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to take some phone calls or you want to uh, pass? I'm going to pass. All right. Hmm. Good idea. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank, uh, thanks, thing. Frank. I appreciate you calling in. Frank has a website called theconfrontationsite.com. Which he's taking everything down from. Yeah, so when you go on there, there <laughs> probably won't be anything on there, but eventually there'll be something on there. Right, Frank? Sure. Oh. Just, well, you know, we, we'll, I'm moving in a different direction, and, um, uh, yeah, that site's coming down. I'm telling that you, man, coming. fuck Snooky. What are you promoting, Frank? I really don't understand. The website that's well, no, not going to have anything. I have a lot of I have a lot of friends in the mixed martial art world, and um, I I work out with them. A uh, team called Los Animales out of uh, Port St. Lucie, Florida, and my friend Marco runs the team. And uh, we have a lot of guys on there that are fighting in the Bellator uh, Bellator Fighting Championships as well as uh, Black Eye Promotions. So those guys will be on the site, looking to get out there. Uh, Could you kick and, some ass? Uh, I work out with them. I work out with Marco and the guys. And, you black belt? Uh, uh, right, right now. Okay, I'm a I'm a brown under the uh, under under a system out here under in Florida. My Sheehan is Randy, and uh, I work out with these guys pretty religiously. And uh, you ever kick you ever I, kick I mean, a guy's I, ass in a, uh, in a street I, fight? I've had some street fights where I've got my ass kicked. As well as kick someone's ass, yes. Ever knock a guy out? Yes. Nice. <laughs> What's that feel like? Feels good, right? I've never knocked yeah. anyone out. I never can get that far into the fight. I'm usually I'm usually, usually on the ground. Usually you're knocked out. <laughs> How old the dude are you, Frank? I'm sorry? How old the dude are you? I'm in my 50s right now. How come you have so many fights? What's going on over there? <laughs> I don't have so many fights. I work out. It's a great way to stay in shape. No, I'm saying, when's the last time you had a street fight? Uh, no, geez, maybe. I really don't know. I really can't say. I don't. I don't do that any longer. I strictly work out to stay in shape. Right, right. Well, sounds like you know what you're doing. 
Sounds like he can handle himself. Sounds like you're getting some pussy, too, but you're not being, uh, <laughs> you're being clear coy. on You're being coy about it. <laughs> When's the last time you got laid, Frank? <laughs> Never mind all that uh, dojo crap. <laughs> All right, Frank. Hey, all right. Well, good luck with your repairing your uh, relationship with your son. Sounds like you're taking the right attitude. Thanks a lot, Howard. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Later, Frank. All right. Bye-bye. All right. There's Frank, a different guy than I expected. We should have got him a few weeks ago. Yeah, we should have got him on the phone with Will. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Frank. Take it easy. That's Frank uh, Sorrentino. His his son is the situation. The situation. And, uh... I don't know what that phone call was, Howard. Well, I don't know. We got a call saying now. Here's what. Here's what. Here's how the whole process went down. All right. The, the boys came into me, Gary and Will, and said, "Hey, we got a call from Frank. The situation. Frank. The confrontation. Sorrentino." I said, "What's his deal?" They go go on this website and check out his videos. So I see these videos. He's fucking going crazy about his son. And I went, "Wow, that's pretty fucked up." I mean, you don't do that to your kid. I don't mm -hmm. care how what your kid's done to you. If your kid hasn't lent you money. He's got his reasons, and you keep that shit private. Kids do get angry with their parents, and they're entitled to that. And you don't take it public. So I said, um, "Yeah, put him on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to him." So I get him on. I go, hey, "Frank, what's, uh, what's <laughs> up with you fucking doing that to your son?" And he goes, "I did the wrong thing. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> I should never have done it. It was a stupid fucking thing." <laughs> How am I gonna tell you? That was the po the point was to say to the guy, "You don't know, straighten him out," but. How do you straighten out a guy who's been straightened out? He's already straight. According to Will, he got straightened out overnight. <laughs> Maybe Will straightened him out. <laughs> I don't know. Will, don't straighten out the guests. Let me do it. I guess Will must have talked to him. This guy Alex on line 13 had a good question for Frank. Oh, yeah? He says, does Frank have a big cock? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to know. 